everyone, I'm Stana and now I'm in Jakarta. And this video could have been about another beautiful condom where I'm staying. But instead it's gonna be about a very disappointing condom and how I was deceived. At the end of this video I'll share how much I paid for this apartment. Let's do it. I always rent apartment on Airbnb and this case was no exception. So when I received a completely different apartment from what was shown in the photos on the website. I was shocked. Let's compare the photos of the apartment on the website with how the apartment actually looks. I decided to start by showing the building's entrance and as you can see it doesn't look nice at all. The road is in poor condition, nobody takes care of the building, the walls are crumbling, there is a grocery store inside the building, similar to 7-Eleven but worse, it's dirty and has a small product selection. Next to the grocery store there is a laundry where you can drop off your clothes to be washed and there are no washing machine in the apartments. I want to make it clear. I rented this apartment and couldn't imagine it will be in such a terrible condition because the apartment owner has 82 reviews on the website and almost all of them are positive and the listing has been on the website for six years. So I couldn't have suspected that I would be deceived. The next stop is the lobby. The lobby is very small with a smaller reception desk, a few sitting areas and an area where residents can pick up packages. There is another table in front of the entrance where curious can leave food deliveries. The table looks terrible. It's very old, dirty and broken. Nobody watches over the table, so if a curious delivers your order and it gets stolen, you just have to understand this is a possibility Additionally, there is a pool in the building, so I can't skip showing it. However, I don't use it. From the outside, the pool looks good. It's clean and not small, with loungers where you can relax. But like in any pool, there are drains where the water flows, but these drains are poorly cleaned, possibly rarely cleaned, and the water there is exposed to the sun, becomes stagnant, and there is a smell of stagnant water. There is a shower area, a shared restroom and storage cabins by the pool, but they're rusty and old. The pool area has a regular asphalt, so walking around without shoes is not pleasant. There is rust on the walls, cracks and a sewage smell. There is bird droppings on the road and the loungers are worn out, so it's not a pleasant place to be. The building looks very basic. There are two identical buildings on the premises, each with 38 floors. There are no common areas, gym or additional amenities in the condom. However, the landlord listed all of these on the website and all the common areas match the photos on Airbnb. So I was prepared for this because in Jakarta there are not many buildings with gym or beautiful common areas. The condos are more basic here. Now we're heading up to the apartment and I want to mention that the elevators are new, but it's clear that nobody takes care of them. The protective films has been removed with the elevator's buttons, but no one has cleaned the walls from tapes or adhesive residue. There is no security, keycards are not used in the elevator, so you can access any floor. On each floor there are many apartments around 20 or more. The walls are dirty and it's clear that nobody cleaned them. The tiles are damaged and have stains. Let's go inside the apartment. I hope guys you're ready to see this. And you're fortunate because you'll only watch this video, whereas I have to live here until the end of this month. So. Now I want to show you how kitchen looks like in the photos. It's clean, everything is neat, it's well maintained and there is no mold. As soon as we enter the apartment we find ourselves in the kitchen. Yes, there is the entire kitchen, but it has all the necessary utensils for cooking. However, the kitchen is very dirty. There is a lot of rust, mold, rusty spots in the sink. There is a bottle of something unclear. It looks 
looks like oil, but it's murky. There are also cockroaches crawling around. There are many of them of various sizes, and it seems the landlord decided not to mention them in the website description. There is a small fridge, rice cooker, and a hot pot. Now I'd like to show you what the room, the floor, the workspace, the walls look like in the photos. Very white walls, a chair with a soft cushion, a new white table, clean floors, a new TV, no cracks or stains. Let's take a look at what the room looks like now. At first glance, thanks to the lighting, the apartment looks just like it did in the photos. But if you take a closer look, it's a different story. There are cracks, dust, dirt and stains in every corner. All the walls have stains, as they have been touched with dirty hands. But the TV exceeded all my expectations. I have absolutely no idea what happened to it. It looks like it been scratched with a key or some metallic object. I tried turning it on, but it doesn't work. I thought it might have been dropped, but there are no cracks. The entire screen is just scratched. About Above the TV there is a shelf with some decorations and a Wi-Fi router. But the real star of this shelf is the thick layer of dust. I understand that cracks rust or mold, a signs of poor apartment, maintenance over the years. But the dust that no one bothered to clean before my chicken is something I can't comprehend. That very large white wall behind the bed has split into two parts due to a huge cracks. The bed is clean and neat, and it's the best part of the entire apartment. However, around the bed there are more cracks on the walls, mold, peeling paint and stains. The apartment is very small, but this was evident in the photos, so there are no errors in the regard. The apartment consists of a small kitchen, a door to the bathroom, a bedroom, a workspace, and a small balcony. This video isn't about the size of the apartment. It's about the condition of the apartment and the photos on the website. The workspace is more or less okay. There is no soft cushion on the chair and there are minor chips and scratches on the table. But it's not a significant issue in this apartment. There are large cracks on the wall near the workspace and all the walls have stains and scratches. On the other side near the bed there is also a mold stain on the wall. And the paint has cracked. I say hello from the small mirror on the small wardrobe and show how the entire apartment looks from this side. From this side you can see the kitchen and you can also see that the air conditioner and the cooler are older than they appeared in the photos. I also want to show the balcony and the view from this window. And the most interesting thing is that every day I feel like I'm sleeping on the street because there is no window soundproofing. You can hear all the car alarms, the call the prayer, people thinking on the street. Yes, it happens every day. All of it is very audible. The view from the window is of a river with sheep, literally. A massive traffic jam and a shopping center with several cafes, a restaurant and Starbucks. The view is nice, but the windows are dirty both outside and inside. There are stains and chips on the frames. My favorite balcony. There is a nest tray on the balcony. And this is the first apartment in Asia where you can smoke. However, I'm lucky that the previous tenant didn't smoke and the apartment doesn't smell of cigarette. When you enter the balcony, you can see everything is cracked, dirty, mold, stained, and some of the paint has peeled off. There are stains on the glass door too. The balcony has old, dirty tiles on the floor, rusty railings, cracked concrete, dirt everywhere, and a small dirty doormat with the word welcome on it. All the walls have cracks, dirty stains, and streaks. And I think the wall was supposed to be white, but it's gray with dirt. And finally, the bathroom. The landlord shared these bathroom photos on the website. Not new, 
but clean tiles, clean walls, a clean white storage cabinet, a clean shower and a clean white shelf. Let's see what the bathroom really looks like. On the tile there is mold and fungus everywhere. I don't step into the bathroom without flip-flops. It's unpleasant to stand on such dirty tiles with bare feet. The storage shelf looks okay, but it's much worse than in the photos. There are stains, chips and the surface has peel off due to humidity. There are cracks, rust and dirt on the walls. I'm genuinely afraid to look at the drain in the shower. I think all the worst bacteria and terrifying diseases are there. The shower is rusty, the shelf in the shower is dirty, there is a huge crack on the wall and dirty and mold in the corner. There are cracks, dirt and stains on all the walls and the ceiling. The tiles in the entire bathroom are very dirty and covered in mold. On the other side there is an old laundry rack on the wall, a huge rusty stain, very old doors and cracks everywhere. Well guys, the apartment looks like something out of a horror movie. I paid $350 per month for this apartment. Yeah, I know it's very cheap, but in Jakarta it's a regular price for apartments. And it's not about the price, it's about the fact. The photos showed one apartment, but I got a completely different one. In Bangkok I paid $150 more and I got a very nice apartment in the amazing condo. If you haven't watched this video about Bangkok apartment, you can find the link in the corner. But I'll repeat, it's not about the price, it's about the fact the landlord didn't inform me the apartment doesn't match the photos. So he deceived me. Write in the comments what do you think about it and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.